Oh, here we go. Slot one's open. He's just jumping in the saber. I really want to just do some MiG-21 burst F5 stuff to warm up a bit, but whatever. Let's try MiG-21 against Saber because that is going to be an absolute meme. Yep. Like you'll probably okay, good. Uh, no, bandits on the go. Hopefully, uh, you can land at the farm, right? The guy's on SRS. Oh, that's a nice Saber can easily beat me in a turn fight, and I am like a, a habitual turn fighter. I can't bring myself to do anything else. I'll lose sight of him if I put any distance between us. So, I'm surprised he didn't turn around there. He's basically giving me his tail. But, oh, there we go. Now he's going to kill me.
has to save his own radius. I came pretty close to having a shot at him there, but it was a bit long. Pull too hard. I think the um, wake turbulence is making that a problem too. Like, the wake turbulence physically throws this plane around because it's so light. And the wake turbulence in DCS is so laughably overmodeled. And this server has it on, like, on uh, the setting that overrides the player setting, so you can't turn it off in just dogfight. Which is why, if you fly too close behind somebody in the Mirage, you lose your wings, because the DCS wake turbulence is a fucking joke. And everything produces the same turbulence as a fucking 747 on shore final. I think the new pedals will help though, because having actual working rudder pedals will help me uh, get the aircraft back under control after a wing stall much quicker. I can actually react to it rather than just release controls. And it'll help me balance my turns a little better, which means less chance for departure. Oh, come on! That was wake turbulence, I'm pretty sure. That was me getting greedy. Scissor with me boy, he might be out of fuel. <laughs> That massive fucking Hail Mary. Finally got him. He's still flying though. Oh. Not anymore. to hit me because it feels like my left wing is trying to tuck under like it's a bit draggier than it should be oh there's the tail well it took a while but we got there and the engine's just about to flame out from lack of fuel try with the mig-15 a bit more appropriate opponent for it Something I'm much less experienced with than the uh, 21, though. Oh, good, they got rid of the fuel tanks on this thing. It used to spawn in with the bags on it, which is just ridiculous. I will uh, catch up on chat after this one, guys. I'll jump in slot 2 after this fight time. We'll do uh, 21 vs F5 if you're keen.
and I've lost him. There he is. Nope, lost him again. Oh, hello. hate these baked on reflections. I hope when ED switched the uh, game over to Vulcan, they actually used proper reflections, or at least cube maps, instead of this bullshit. It's like fucking 1999 up in here. Oh, he did hit me there. Briefly. I'm reasonably sure this is how you're meant to fly the MiG-19, but I just can't do it in the 19 for some reason. I can do it in this, just not the 19. I would say he's probably done. Yep. Alright, go, uh, slot two, Tom. Oh, you're in slot two. Hang on. Oh, no, never mind, other guys in there.
Oh, I thought I was gonna catch up on chat, didn't I? Fuck. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I will after this one. to be a bit more neutral. Really keen on taking this fight to space. A little bit careless and pulled up too hard, so I'm gonna try and regain some speed. Using the rudder to induce roll, because the ailerons have basically zero effectiveness. Ooh, there's some adverse. We've got basically no effectiveness at this low of a speed and this high of an angle of attack. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get out of this and go. Recover. Come back on him. Okay, here he comes. Roll out with the head on. Okay, we came out of that. Unscathed. Gonna be another head on here. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Rolling scissors, let's go. Getting a bit careless with my feet. Just trying to roll out on me. Remember not to advance the throttle too quickly on the Sabre. You can get a like really bad hung stall on the engine where it sits at 70% revs and won't go any higher. And the only way to recover from it is to go back to idle and just sit there for a couple seconds, which is uh, not ideal in combat, as you might imagine. Solid hit. Try and drop nose on me here. Close. I don't have the controls window up, but if I did, you guys would see I'm just basically hammering on the rudder constantly to keep it under control here. No. Underestimated the angle though.
Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that was a nice move. I got away with it, thankfully. But that was really dangerous for me there. still happy. If the engine is happy, I'm happy. Okay, he's kind of running me out of energy a bit. I just lost all my game sound. That's an interesting bug. Sabre had the same bug the other day, actually, in the same aircraft. I'm not sure what causes that, but it's definitely a bug, and it's definitely associated with the F-86, because it's the only aircraft I've had that happen in. If someone wants to uh, go submit a bug report, <laughs> that would be appreciated. Uh, uh. Oh, I was hoping I got him into a spin there. Maneuver kills are still- oh, I did! Good. Maneuver kills are still a kill. Slot 2 is still occupied. Oh, no it's not. Okay. Slot 2 blue, make 21. Actually, I was going to spectate, wasn't I? Sure. I might reserve the slot. Type around a Hotas is not very easy. Let's see, most of the modules have been made from previous generations and models have been declassified. Yeah, yeah, I'm guessing that's back for the F22 stuff. The biggest thing I want is you need to have bright surfaces to shimmer when they catch the light and dark surfaces to stand out. Oh, yes, please. God, yes. A sporting system like IL2 Eclipse of Dota has would be amazing. Like, that game still has the best damage models and the best spotting of any flight sim I've ever played, civilian or military. Or like, you know, uh, not military, but like, uh, combat. Hey, Nani. What was your airspeed? Probably not much. What are your specs? If you put in exclamation mark specs to chat, beeps you will come up with them. DCS is on an SSD, the page file is like 60 gig. I have 32 gigabytes of RAM, it's just DCS runs badly. There's not much I can do about it. Shit, there's a lot of you here. Welcome to the stream, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Um, that'll have to do for catching up on chat right now. Alright. Uh, 
we got some fights happening. Let me uh, get rid of SRS since I don't need it at the moment. Hey, hey! Hey! Alright, uh, respawn. Yeah, I'll just go this. MiG 21 against Sable was an interesting experience. There we go. By the way, was that you who jumped at the slot earlier, or was it some random? Uh, some random. I might have hit him with a very, very long range M9 back. I uh, was dump firing them to uh, get rid of the weight, and I got a lock on a moment after. Dots on or no? Uh, if you want. That's not really bother me either way. Hang on, I'll right. respawn. Might just leave them on for spotting purposes. Yeah, we'll turn markers on. If he's gonna have them on, I'll have them on. Because of the stream doesn't have to watch us uh, circle each other, not being able to see each other for the next 10 minutes. I'm red side 1v1 R2R. Yeah, you're from the same spawn as me, so I'm trying to avoid. I assume that's not out in front. Hang on. What? Okay. No, I see you, but. Just respawn, just respawn. Like, you were right over the top of me when I spawned it. Alright. Missiles, because they are drag and weight, I do not want or need. There we go. There we go, finally. If we get rid of my missiles, you should be able to see the. Just arriving, um, just a disclaimer, I only have half authority on my left rudder because my rudder pedals are broken. I've got some crosswinds that should be arriving in the next week or so. And uh, that should give me one less thing to bitch about on stream. I'll have to find another excuse to get grouchy. And, and merge. Oh, lesson about rollers yet. Now it's not a detainment for my track hour to be a piece of shit. Never. What just happened there is the big danger in the MiG-21 that you'll uh, have someone dip under your nose and you'll lose sight of them. The markers make it a little easier, but like in a live environment with no markers, that's really dangerous. Are you alright there? Jesus. I'm fine, plenty of room. submersible mode on my screen. Yeah, no, I had about a good 15-20 feet on mine. So. If 
classic DCS desync. Yay, DCS desync. Uh, better than the other day. Gyro gun sight in this is not the greatest, even with radar assistance. Holy shit. Uh, you're rubber banding everywhere on my screen at the moment. It's on. Yeah. Did you yeah, go level up for just one second. Yeah, now the only thing taking internet right now is DCS and my track IR, but my internet kind of shit. It could also be the server. JDF does this all the time. Yeah, boss. Well, I just bought you a lifeline because I can't see you anymore. Oh, I just leveled out. Uh, okay. Yeah, no, I, my Ethernet is showing that I'm doing perfectly fine. I'm not sure. Of course. Doesn't show you where the enemy is. Uh, you see the lake? Head for that. Pretty much Jump. Only have half authority in general. You're not wrong. Not wrong. The small one right by the river between the town. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, Got it. Like it's, it's not really a lake so much, it's just a wider point of the river, I guess. I will say that I think I have an easy time keeping control of the aircraft in here versus Cold War. Because in the Cold War server, the mergers are all more wild and woolly. Okay. Altitude is 6,000. Yep, I see you. I'm turning back in towards you now. If you head basically uh, towards the mountains, you should cross my nose. Alright. Eyes on. Yep, we're emerging. Lights on. I'm gonna reset my track IR. That's something I've noticed though, like in a live sort of server environment, I'm a lot less good at the things I'm usually pretty alright at. Um, like, a lot of my older streams when I was playing on GS, and I was flying the Mirage, if I got into a merge, I was all over the place, whereas, you know, on here in the Mirage, I was really kind of in my element. It was just that little bit of added pressure, I guess, that you don't really get in these neutral merge setups, where you know where the other guy's coming from, you have a rough idea of his ability, stuff like that, whereas on the actual, and you know, you've got an ideal loadout for it, whereas on the server, I've got, you know, asymmetric load, because I've already fired myself one wing, I'm dragging, because I'm Double pile yeah, after this fight, I'm going to chip up like for like that. two seconds just to close the uh. That's right. I'm probably pretty long. It is not long. easy to keep an eye on you when my head tracker keeps fucking up. I have to keep shaking my head. <laughs> hoping for a decent shot there, but I just couldn't get the angle I needed without losing sight of it. When you see my eyes flick to the corner of the screen, I'm looking at the AOA. That is your life in the MiG-21 at lower speed. Oh, that was fancy. No one's ever been this close before. on me. Yeah, okay, I should have gotten eyes on you, but my truck guard decided, no, I just want to have you look at the seat. Make sure that two of the lights aren't, uh, like, crossing each other. That's what usually causes that for me. No, I think what's going on is, uh, uh I got the window open and ah, yeah. there's a fair amount of light coming in. We're gonna close it. One of the few benefits of living in the fucking black hole of Calcutta. I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> 
Oh, no, you want to know what happened? Not only that, but a truck pulled up outside. That's why. And it was white. About to run out of fuel anyway. Ah, uh, nice shot. It's back in half a second. I have... 400 liters of fuel. Alright, if you respawn. Unfortunately, I don't start with full fuel in this server, which is kind of a big deal. In the MiG-21, you don't have a lot of fuel to begin with. So the reason I'm not using the gyro side or the radar assisted gun side is because it's just really shitty in the MiG-21. Like, it, it just isn't accurate, I find, against maneuvering targets. It's great against bombers, but against something the size of an F5 that's doing the kinds of things Tarn does, it's just more hindrance than help. So I just eyeball things. Um, once they fix the traces and I can actually see where my rounds are going properly again, that should also help greatly. think the flaps actually have overstress damage in this at the moment, but I don't want to risk it and I don't want to teach myself bad habits. But one stage of flap below 650 kilometers an hour is just fine. That's when you would normally drop them coming in for landing anyway. Not even having to pull particularly hard to keep up with them at the moment. Whoop, bit of a freeze there. Whoa! What's he doing? It's like he thinks he's in a MiG-21. Almost lost sight. He flaps back in for a moment, just while I pick up speed. Back out. Thank you. Welcome to the stream, guys. A bit of dogfighting to uh, chill out after some bad luck on Cold War. You know that wobbly ship really doesn't help you against the 21, right? Oh, I know. Looks good for the stream, though. Looks good. So is that? Yep. That's <laughs> uh, yeah, somewhat flyable. You tripped me out. I should hope not. You've got no fucking surfaces at all. You're just a fuselage. Yeah, the, the aircraft had actually stayed straight. I think I might have been able to control it so just with the uh, throttle. But... Back in. Now, 
see, this is the other thing, um, which I should probably mention. The guy that I was fighting on Cold War earlier was actually holding sustained turns, which is something that the MiG-21 really doesn't cope with well. Whereas Tarn is doing a lot more reversals and stuff. This is what will get the MiG-21 the upper hand. Reversals, uh, overshoot attempts, things like that, the 21 will easily keep pace with. But if a, 20, if a uh, 21 gets drawn into a sustained turn battle with an F5, the F5 is going to win. Eventually he will win. Might take him five minutes or so though. But these more dynamic fights where you're changing direction all the time really play into the hands of the Balalaika. Yeah, we need to cut out with the burner. You're used to it at this point. Yeah, but try out some vertical stuff with the F5, and you would be shocked how many F18 and Mirage, well, F18 piles mostly do it. Go, hey, that's an F5. No way it's going to go vertical, and suddenly behind on their six, because it just did. Yeah, they do the same to this as well. Nope, that's not going to work. Nope, yep. Captain. The 21 actually isn't as bad on fuel as people think. Like, it's not good on it, but it's not as bad as people think. Even an emergency burner. F-20 variant might be cool with the F-5 single engine, maybe slightly upgraded avionics. That already exists, it's called the Jeff. Like, the Jeff is basically what an F-20 would be um, at this point. Up to and including the inability to deal with high AOA. something you can really abuse against, well not abuse, but you can exploit it against them in the big 21. You can pull your nose a little bit than he can at any speed range. Oh, that's cute. short amount of time. One stage flat. Oop, oh, bit of a wing stall there. That was me getting careless. Another one there. Just ease off the controls. Don't over control the MiG. When it starts telling you that it's not happy with what you're doing, you don't double down, you ease off. It'll recover itself every time. And that's the biggest mistake I see people making in this aircraft. They over control the living shit out of it and they get themselves killed because of it. Under me somewhere. I don't see him though. We're just going to continue in a left turn. It's not directly behind me. Back off the power a bit to push him out in front. Happy days. Yeah, reverse a little bit too early there. That was on me. Now I fucked up and now you're on my six. Which is not good for the F5. Another half a foot forward and we took my pilot there. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> Back 
second. Holy shit! Fucking hell. You trying to take my tail off there? It would have been amusing, but no. This is what he's doing, where he's trying to come back up into me head on again. We will deny him that opportunity. Roll out, go over to the top. He can't follow. He's not going to anyway. Whoopsie daisies. Like I said, I do get a little heavy on the stick at the moment. We're nice and slow so we can pop the flaps. Start cranking. Of course, I have the emergency burner on for all of this. Otherwise, I just don't have the thrust to do what I'm doing. Well, I could do it, but I'd be stalling a lot more. That was an accidental wing stall, but I just doubled into it and decided to use it. You've become very acquainted with tactical stalls in the 21, use them a lot to stop people from uh, getting overshoots on you. And the wing stalls are quite handy for flicking a wing over in a hurry. Hi there. Not there though. Switch yeah, okay. Every office. time I go to, uh, sure. Yeah, every time I go to spectator, I keep watching a uh, F-18 or an F-14 or something flying sideways across the sky. So I don't think the service is the best at the moment. Yeah, it's pretty normal on this. Uh... Unfortunately. I might go to the Sabre next. We'll see how the Sabre fares against the F5. Sure. I see that. I actually, if you want to try something stupid, big 29 versus F, uh, versus F86, but I can only turn in the 20. Oh, I'm god awful on the 29. I'm decent on it. I need to work on it. Chad and Ross, uh, what I'm doing here is actually what the F4 should be doing when it does get the uh, MiG-21 on. Try doing reversals, use the better thrust, and get the 21 to drain out center. Of course, that's only going to work probably against more inexperienced uh, MiG-21 pilots, unlike Ross. I really wish we were getting a hard wing F4 instead of an E, just so I could Honestly, I kind of want the F4B. You don't get the gun, but in exchange, yes, you get please. wave. Yep, yep, yep. I'm really, really curious to see 
what the F8 is going to bring to the table against this thing. Same here. It should be really good at turning, but it's also going to have way more thrust than the F5s. Whoops, crazy. Yeah, I can't tell if you're stalling out there I'm or if it's just. Okay. And I remember, chat, the MiG-21 can't turn. That's why Ross just uh, went from basically no energy to on my six, like that. Sitting up for a good shot. Whereas the F5, I'm in, I have to level out. Yeah, I find that's my best asset when I do get locked into a uh, two-circle with an F5, is just waiting for him to get slow enough that he freaks out and starts leveling off. Yeah, and I did eat. And I probably held that oh. way longer than most F5 pilots. I had no energy left to actually correct. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Nope, I missed me into the ground. Yep. Did not have the energy, couldn't pull out of it. And I could have forced the overshoot. The 21 should perform really well at altitude, but it, like this thing, because of the secondary burner down in the weeds, it also performs really well. Uh, the secondary burner only kicks in below 4,500 meters ASL. I think. So, yeah, like, it depends. It depends on the model of 21, it depends on the situation. But I will say I'm much more confident at low level in the MiG-21 than I am at higher altitude. I wonder how the uh, F-100 Super Saber would do against the uh, I would, uh, I, would love, I would love to see an F-100. I don't think it would have much against the 21, but I think it would be a really good matchup for the 19. Uh, I guess the big 19 would be absolutely perfect. I guess the 21, I'm not so sure, simply because uh, it does have a... 21 would absolutely smoke it, I reckon, in turns. Like, both speed and turns, actually. Yeah. Lucky didn't pull the trigger there. Alright, play time's over. See, because he's able to outspeed me here, it does come. You've heard off your missiles, right? I'm seeing a red dot coming up behind you. Uh, over the town right now. Okay, yeah, that is your missile. Hello, I thought you might come in from the sun. My, uh, I thought the Garhade had an auto detonate, but I guess not. On my end, so I can't see who's doing what, but I do appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. Sorry, say again. I thought the uh, apparently the Gar does not have an auto detonate. I looked the uh, labels on uh, just to make no, sure that. Doesn't. Yeah, so or it's on a I'm looking over there and I see two and I see a red dot just slowly fall. I can't follow you up there. Yeah. I'm trying to bait him back down to low altitude. This is pretty much what I'm used to for World War II flight sims. Uh, zero versus uh, Hellcat or Wildcat. Oh. Oh. And Oops. I did not realize how close you were. Yeah, okay. no, I thought we missed each other on my screen, but apparently not. Oopsie daisies. Yeah, no, on my, I greatly underestimate just how fast the episode 86 can climb when that. Yeah, that was a merge, in the most literal sense possible.
just go vertical again. I can't really follow him as much as I'd like to. You actually might have managed your energy a little bit better there, but I got a way better thrust to weight ratio. Oh yeah, no, like, I, I just can't come up after you when you do that. Now for the hard part for all movement zoomers, actually trying to get onto the, uh, trying to get onto the guy without opening yourself up. speed. If I just had a little more speed, this could be so beautiful. I'm just gonna have to wait for him to come back down and try and maybe get him on one of his passes when he overshoots or something. Ideally, I'd spend like the next two minutes just slowly maneuvering onto your six o'clock, but that'd be boring, so I'm not going to. If I just had a little more speed, a little more nose authority, like the MiG-21 has, he'd be in trouble right there. Oh, oh, hello, what's this? What is this? He's still got the speed advantage. Quite a large one. Put some pressure on. Need to aim a slightly low. A little bit too low. The sight's jumping all over the place. Yeah, no surprise. Might also be the server. And I think I'm just barely out of range for the radar sight on your. Uh, And now I reverse, not that you're having to level up. Good news is for you, I would at most take one or two more passes uh, if this is not just dogfight and then have. My radar side is refusing to get a lot. See, I don't think I can recover this with my uh, rudder pedals not working. I have done a big whoops. You have, yeah. You for a minute you're going evasive, but uh. No. Yeah, honestly, if if you were going somebody who wasn't used to flying a uh, boom and doom aircraft in World War II, you honestly probably would have. But, uh, because I would have lost patience, well, but I that don't would never lose patience against aircraft. Alright, let's try something I'm extremely bad at. Sure. Actually, I'll do the same. Come on, trim it out. Didn't mean to end up so far under him there. OK. 
Okay, that's not good. I can't fire my cannon. in the wrong mode. What do you win anyways? I forgot to do good luck. 19. Oh, 19? Yeah, this is a tad unfair. Although, honestly... Honestly, they actually behave kind of similarly, just yours is faster. Yeah. Like, there's I, a I lot just... of behaviors I've noticed in the MiG-19 that feel like the MiG-29. I gotta say, though, I love the wing flex of the MiG-29. Yeah, no, I don't think I'll be able to get under your six, and you're not going to be able to catch up with me. The difference is, I run out of fuel. Oh, you should actually be able to turn it onto my six, I'm pretty sure. It just takes effort, because the 29 fights you a bit. Well, let's try it. One nice thing about fly by wire aircraft, you're not having to constantly trim them like the MiG-29. Um, I mean, Western fly by wire, the C-27 fly by wire, and sort of trim the fuck out of that as well. Absolute trim here. That is one disadvantage of your uh, 30 millimeter cannons. You're not able to get a good shot on me because they wanted to cheese the uh, cancer out and your nose as well. This thing actually has a higher muzzle velocity than the MiG-21's 23 millimeter. Fun fact. Uh, do, do the shots go a bit slower though? They slow down way faster. One thing I don't get, why does the 29 on the server not start with full fuel? It's like the one aircraft yeah, that really, really need. I don't think a lot of thought was put into fuel loads on here. This Hello. is this is the shit that fucks me up in the MiG-19 when people. If you want to take over from me, I need to do some stuff quickly. So. Oh. Like this is what the MiG-19 is explicitly bad at. Unless you get lucky. Yeah. Fuel could do anything. Like 
Let me go something that will be a little bit more. I really like this plane. I just like I'm bad at it. That's it. Unfortunately, beautiful aircraft, beautiful module, but it is good at things I am bad at, and vice versa. Can't afford liking more. Planes. One of these days, yeah. one of those M90 is going to end up picking up. This is where it dumps all its speed, turns like this, and it just does not regain it unless you totally unload the aircraft, which is kind of awkward in a time fight. But also, like, you don't generally fight at this altitude in Cold War. You're on the deck where this has basically no options to do anything, whereas up here where I do have options. Whoops, daisies. There's a big stall. Also, because we do have markers uh, turned on for this, it does mean I can keep track of him when, like, in an actual server, I would lose sight immediately. Because I have terrible eyesight. And DCS spotting is a joke. Yeah, see, the aircraft just won't, like, I'm in full burner, it just won't regain any speed at all. Gotta level off. And you look away for half a second to check my fuel gauge, and it lose you. Oh, man, beat. I know where you are. That was a Hail Mary. There goes all my speed again. Let's see what we can do here. We might be able to pull something out of this. Regain the speed and the diet, maybe. Somewhere I'd feel comfortable in the MiG-21, but here, in the MiG-19. Unless he loses sight of me. There's not really any way to win this. So we're gonna try and run away, build some speed, and go vertical again. Slow. What a dance. 
Yeah, I can't quite pull hard enough to uh, get my guns. Stall myself out a bit, but looks like he's gonna. Oh shit, he actually might stall right onto me. I just gave him a free shot. I collided. Yeah, no, I pulled him way too hard. Like, that's that's just what happens all the time in the 19. Either I stall myself into the I'm ground. I'm in a very collidey boot to do this. Cannot make that plane work for me, sadly. I normally try to avoid it, but, uh, yeah. Check in a minute. This might be my last one for dogfights, I think. Back to Cold War after. Sounds good. Are you available to GCI warp? Because if you are, I might actually do some 19 in that. Like, if I can actually get vectored onto stuff properly, that would be excellent. trying to do here, he's picked up a shitload of speed. Like, is he gonna try and out-sustain me? Is that what, what he's trying to do here? So it might actually work. So I gotta keep an eye on my speed. I don't wanna flame myself out. I swear, I wish the F5 pod could just extend to like half a G more. That's all, just half a G. Yeah, wouldn't have helped you there. I saw that coming a while off. Uh, I'm not blacked out, but uh. Would have been able to keep eyes on you way better. The issue is, that's probably the biggest tool in the F5's repertoire. It is very small and hard to hit, so it's pretty much just... If you get got, force a guy to overshoot, he's probably not going to be able to get back on you, and even if he does, you'll probably be able to force it again. The issue is, against somebody like you, that doesn't work. Plus, you're a good enough pilot where I can't drain the energy out, unlike most other people in Flaps back up because we're getting pretty fast again. And even if I do, the big one has a way better thrust to weight ratio than this. Might have been because I just used the F5's excellent full rate to completely reverse it. No, you 
rubber banded across my screen. Oh, really? Damn. Yeah, no, um, as you're pulling up on me, I did a hard roll over turn and then rolled over and came back onto your six. Well, but because of that, we're banding right there, you can keep track. Oh, wow. Take your tail surfing. That was cheeky. I'm actually glad I'm a sh shot. I should have raked your tire aircraft. <laughs> oh, this thing also is quite small and moves very quickly, so I find that like when I'm shooting at 21s, I'm lucky if I can land one hit from a perfect shot. They just fly between the bullets. It doesn't help as well that the F5 has an ever so slight up angle to its rounds, but like the Mirage. Well, less than the Mirage, but you know. Yeah, Mirage is the first time I fired out. Like, oh. down like the Jeff. Yeah. Wait, the just rounds really go downwards? Yeah, Why? Yeah, the guns canter down slightly because it was intended for ground attack. I mean, I even this still. this might be deflected slightly downwards to avoid hitting the, the uh, nose wheel. Yeah, the yeah. I, I know that with the MiG-21, it is either level or slightly downwards, but... Yeah, at least with the, the MiG-21, you have the excuse. The because it's off-center as well. Yeah, the 21, at least, you have the excuse of, hey, this is, you know... Fuck, hold on. There we go. Uh, hey, you know, this is a... This is... You got the gun mounted pretty much center line, so that's just fucking. Do you need that part? Yeah, you hit something, but I'm showing you pretty much everything you good. So I'm not... far and you lost a stab. Ah, that do it. That is kind of what advantage of the F5 has such small engines. Uh, even if you do lose one of them, you are they're so close together you don't really notice it too too much in terms of roll rate and stuff. And that's a bug. Should we get a cold war? Yep. Sounds good. Good fights, man. Yeah, good fight. Yeah, I just need to get more practice. Get that during the event in about 14 hours. Uh, what day is it? Fuck. I'm going to jump out for like yeah, five minutes and then we'll be back. We'll see.